Yeah, all right. It's a Pidgeotto. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yep. <laughs> She's like, no, no. This is this is the this is the one in charge that, of the island. The one who made us do. <laughs> no, 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 no. The one who made oh. us do all those dirty deeds. The Thunder <gasps> Chief. Thunder Chief. <laughs> The Thunder Chief. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That's probably about as good as that's going to get. <laughs> All right, you guys have <laughs> on the ground, upside down, <laughs> are all <laughs> of, of the Embolga from earlier. And you just, <laughs> just kind of whack a mold them right out of the air. Whew, that was a close one. <laughs> So yeah, I didn't think that uh, you leaping off my head would do it, but by God, you just you just got that right on the head again, didn't you? <laughs> uh, sometimes they just, uh, you know, I mean, instinct island, am I right? That's how I knew when I threw the mag light, it would bounce around like a boomerang and come right back to- Yeah, that, you, you got it, man. And it looks like, hey, there it is. And another lightning strike happens. <laughs> and... <laughs> Another lightning strike occurs, and your double lightning bolt sigil is there. Oh, now we have one of each. Heck yeah, she says, holding up a, a palm. And I, like, do a fist bump into it. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. That, that works, that works. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys head Stop towards... It. You guys head towards the next area. All right, I see ya. Uh, we got one right over there behind the tower as well. Oh, shoot. Yeah. The, they only require three keys, but do you think we could cheat and get, like, a fourth one? Is it cheating if we're just that good? I like the way you think, Murdoch. All right, go get him, man, she says, like, powering up herself. <laughs> <laughs> Runs forward, stops, and gently touches uh, the third one because we're pumped up. It's actually just a big one. Oh, regret. All right. And let's find a good challenge. Um... All right. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm deciding. I'm sorry. <laughs> Give me a second. No worries. Uh, the I push it, just stand there waiting. I hear thunder, but no lightning. <laughs> Is this, uh, is this normal? Uh, no, I don't, in fact, I don't think anyone ever in the history of this place ever picked a fourth one. I've never seen this before. Oh. Not that I know this place too well. Eh, yeah, well, I'll be the first. If anyone's gonna do it, <clears throat> it'd be me. Alright, descending from the sky. <laughs> oh, there it is! You see what looks like a great big spaceship. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> She's like, yeah, that's not what that is, but, uh, yeah, go get him. Okay, uh, she quickly tosses <laughs> through the mag light, empowered with her electricity. Oh, my lord. Okay, I grab the mag light, turn the light switch on, just to see if it turns into a lightsaber. It totally does. <laughs> <laughs> Murdoch, what, happen <laughs> what happens next? <laughs> So I see the alien spaceship come down and she, Oreo said, it's not what you think, but I just, now I'm holding a lightsaber in my hand. I imagine the wind is blowing my hair back. It's dark and lightning strikes. And I say, you will not take this planet. And I just try to run and jump like overhead swipe with the lightsaber on top of the spaceship. Just, yeah. <laughs> roll, roll brick break. Yeah, good enough. You leap up, and then your plasma cutter just digs right <laughs> through it, which then splits it open because it's a, it's a fighting type move on a steel Pokemon, and it just like light comes out from it, and it crackles and pops, and then explodes. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Dramatic landing. <laughs> you land on the ground, all like superhero pose, 
but before you could celebrate, you hear another clack. And as, like, feet touch the ground behind you, you see another creature holding a mag light. <laughs> <laughs> This mag light, however, is is tinted red, and, <laughs> and <laughs> it's held out in front of you. <laughs> Oreo, not you. You were the chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I will uh, charge fo- forward and clash uh, mag blades with. Uh, <laughs> with <a> Nega Oreo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's completely the opposite. Instead of like two black pieces and the cream in the middle, it's actually two creams and then like a like a cookie in the middle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you clash lightsaber blades as. <laughs> Back and forth, back and forth. Roll anything, man. I don't care. <laughs> roll anything. I'm going to roll mega kick. I'm going to uh, feel feel the electric force of Instinct Island within me and use that force to uh, release a mega kick. <laughs> okay, roll it. Oh, real good. You parry the blade away. Kick her right in the stomach as she has leapt into the air. God, that's a really good kick. Jesus, man. Woo! <laughs> it takes it takes 40 damage and it backs up into a corner. It then charges the lightsaber blade and lunges forward with plasma fist. How appropriate. <laughs> yeah, right. It slices and like knocks your hand back and just goes right through your chest. You're not dying or dead. Right. But you, but you take 60 damage. Oh, jeez. Ah, well, maybe I'm dying a little. <laughs> <laughs> you gain another yeah. You gain another injury as Oreo comes forward and says, Murdoch, let's do this together. <laughs> <laughs> try to charge like a Super Saiyan, which doesn't really do. Well, maybe it does. Who knows what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I will do, uh, I'll do payback again and charge at it. Well, hold on. She holds, out, she just... holds out a fist when she sits together. She's expecting, you know, that fist. Ah! Yeah. Right, and I, I grab her hand. Like, I just put my palm on top of it and grab her her fist. <laughs> <laughs> With the might of the Maglite and your friendship, psst, out comes an, her own lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> She's got like a fist blade, like a zealot from uh, StarCraft. (laughs) All right, right. between your friendship, she charges forward and uses close combat, dealing 50 lightsaber (gasps) damage. (laughs) (laughs) Murdoch, it's your turn. I will do an amazing flip, in my mind at least, to uh, flank Nega Oreo. And I will do uh, payback and like try to plunge the blade through her, uh, its back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See what happens here. You stab her in the back and she like holds out her arms like, ah! <laughs> And I whisper in her ear and say, there can be only one. <laughs> Oreo, she, she's about to turn around, but her blade is caught by Oreo's own blade. And it stops. From <gasps> be- it stops from hitting you. <laughs> My hero. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, do it, Murdoch. Finish it off. Uh, and from from the blade being within, I'm just gonna like, like slice up and go for like a dramatic beheading. Okay. So just like pull straight up to almost slice in half, and then <laughs> behead with okay. uh. I'll just- <laughs> we'll use a, 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 a brick break for that one. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, roll, low numbers. <laughs> you know what? I'll count it at a crit. And. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you do exactly that. You slice up, and right before you're about to behead, like, it, it goes through and everything, but she catches mm-hmm. it with, like, some of her own plasma fists, and uh, it gets closer to you, and it says. 
Let, let the hate flow through you. <laughs> <laughs> and this catch it. Murdoch. Uh? <laughs> Oreo says, no, Murdoch will not be corrupted by your evil. She goes back from behind, hugs her, and then gives a Jedi suplex. <laughs> <laughs> the classic, Hell yeah. The classic Jedi maneuver. Of course, we've all seen it. <laughs> and then slams, slams it right into the ground behind. She steps forward, stumbling a little bit from the injury, and then Nega Oreo disappears into a puff of electricity. <laughs> this is when uh, the haze clears and the mag lights just turned on. Not even a lightsaber, he's just... What? What happened? <laughs> we just became the greatest warriors on Instinct Island. <laughs> <laughs> well, we might just be the only two people here. I mean, beings. Still counts. This... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are the two greatest. That's that's fair. <laughs> You guys uh, hold up your lightsabers, do like that little tap, and yeah. <laughs> as that happens, this door over here slowly opens, and you hear the. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> hey, cool! <laughs> Alright, yeah! <laughs> Good work, Oreo. Heck yeah. Oh, hold on, Murdoch, 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 come on. Right, right, right. I, I know that you just power through the pain like a champion, but she gives you, <laughs> she gives you another super potion and some bandages. Oh, wow, yeah. I was. Ow. Thank you. You recovered. <laughs> Everything <fifth>. was really hurting. <laughs> she takes a super potion of her own. You take one. You are, are removed of three injuries. She is down to two, which I've not been keeping track of. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I, I'm actually pretty injured. I keep forgetting those. That's what those little dots mean. <laughs> so, oops. You guys walk inside of this temple. And turn around! Oh my God. <laughs> you see above you this this creature descending down, and you I'm pretty sure you know what this is, right? My god. It's a mole. A pelican? <laughs> yeah. Is that a pelican? <laughs> uh yeah, alright. It's a Pidgeotto. <laughs> there it is, yep. <laughs> She's like, no no, this is this is the this is the one in charge of the island. The one who made us do <laughs> No 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 no. The one who made oh. us do all those dirty deeds. The Thunder <gasps> Chief. Thunder Chief. <laughs> the Thunder <laughs> Chief. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> she points uh. she points the mag blade at it and says, Are you ready to take this on, Murdoch? <sighs> I don't think we have much of a choice, do we? <laughs> she puts the blade down like at the ready, like a samurai. It says, together. All for one, and one for all. Ah, you guys charge forward, and... Hey! <laughs> fade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> commercial, the little commercial bumper card plays. <laughs> 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 hey everyone, it's the Sleepy Mystic Scarlet. You know, I've changed a lot while on our road to victory. I started off as a cute, shy little church girl who would sleep through all our encounters. But thanks to your continued support, I'm now something of a divine avatar! Who also happens to be a cute little church girl! Hey, you should totally support us on Patreon! If you didn't know, you can get cool rewards like monthly lore packets, or even create your own characters that can join us on our journey! Some of our series' most memorable characters actually came from our supporters on Patreon. Support us today and maybe I'll see you on the road! Bye bye Konnichiwa, Mina-san! It is I, Watashi! I'm here to let you know that you can get my cute face suit over on LoadedCrewCrafts.com Wow! For only 3.99 yen, or 3.99 for you gajin out there, you can get our digital wallpapers on our website! There's Lobby vs. Sensei, Team Vision, Legends at Rest, or me! Aren't I totally kawaii? <laughs> Go buy my wallpaper and you can see me on your desktop all the time! Link in the description, up top, and at the end of the video. Sayonara, Bakagajin Desu! I went ahead and uh, 
ahead and just skipped a bunch of worthless side quests, and you guys are at the top floor. Alright. <laughs> Boy, all those adventures we just had in this tower. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna cut it out. It's fine. It was, it was just some callback jokes, and I was... Uh, if you saw the Dream World episodes, here, I'll, I'll just show you what you missed. <laughs> just, so, just I still so you... need to catch up on a lot of stuff. Yeah, over here, um, so Jade and Scarlet were in Dream World, and they encountered these two jokers right here, and they were arguing, like, Jungian versus uh, Skinner, like, psychology, and they're trying to get into Dream World, and that's what the Dream Machine is here for. Oh. That that's it. That, it. That's just the joke. You were gonna solve it, and I... <laughs> we figured it out. Man, that was interesting. That was really smart. Uh, you know, that that was really smart, Mason. I didn't know that all you had to do was convince them that psychology is sometimes bullshit if you don't know what you're actually doing. I mean, it's like neither of them played Persona. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they they thought they could just like summon JoJo stands or something. It's ridiculous. Anyway, I think. Uh, uh, oh, go ahead. That, the joke is Persona's based entirely on Jungian psychology. Oh, is that it? I'm sorry, I never played <laughs> yeah, Persona right. either. You, that's Persona. Your Persona is a Jungian term. You fight shadows, which is a Jungian term. It's all. It's all based off of that. Oh, I. God, I got, see. That's why you're the good cop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you should be able to control Alakazam too, if you want. Yeah, I have an ability that literally lets me. So yeah, so we're going to can I we're gonna just walk over this way I suppose and be like, heck yeah. So I suppose this is the Golurk that she was talking about. I'm uh, actually you know what knock knock. <laughs> you hear a voice? Yeah, that's the Golurk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that was it right there. I think can't really see, but I can only assume. I can actually see out this thing's eyes. It's creepy. Um, the, she sure does uh, so she said, at Mason a lot. She said she said it was a it was like a guardian. Yeah, we I didn't figure it out. I just stole the bracelet. <laughs> Ninja's just giving up. Like, yeah, honestly, <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> She's even dropped the whole like mysterious voice thing. That, that they can... <laughs> I mean, ooh, like, like a real person. <laughs> It, it uh, seems... Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> this mystery eluded me. I only fulfilled my mission. <laughs> and I approached the. I approached the. It's uh, like your, it's like your, per, it's like your personalities like bled into me as I was inside Coffin Forest here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna approach and I'm going to pull out the ring, and ask the Golurk if this was his you or put it, theirs. You put it on. I don't. You... I, I'm not gonna put it on. I'm just gonna hold hold it out. Alright, are you approaching it or are you just kind of standing outside the room? I'm approaching it. Okay. Go ahead and move yourself there if you would. So I know where you want to be. Don't look into that. <laughs> <laughs> not important at all. Nope, not even a little. All right, uh, I were... think I said I had Boxer out before we went up here, by the way. You did say that. Yeah. But you know what? He was actually annoyed by Jungian psychology, so like... <laughs> <laughs> the Bronzong approaches and... It looks at you, and its face kind of fades, and on it appears a bunch of, like, nonsense runes. If you want, you can do a knowledge check. Gonna do that. Ooh, real good. You know that this is ancient Ransay. Okay. Is this, so not, is this not Bronzong? Huh? Yeah, that's Bronzong. Someone that's, bro uh, bron that's Bronzor. Bronzong is the big one. I'm sorry. I, I meant Bronzor. Yeah, it does, I do it all the time when I'll say, like, the the final evolution, because that's the one you encounter the most. Okay, I do I have any idea what it says, or I just recognize the language? You recognize the language, and you are you going to tell Good Cop that what it is? It appears that it's in Ransay? Ooh, actually, yeah, hold on. Uh, uh, cryptozoology, that's, that's probably me. Crypto, um... He goes over, and you two inspect this bronze ore, and he starts, like, sifting through it, and he touches it as if it's a touch screen, and he starts shifting it around a little bit, reading, like, to himself, and he goes, <laughs> oh, no, you're not going to believe this. So this what? is, this is an artificially constructed Golurk. This doesn't, this, like, doesn't appear out of stone or whatever, naturally. This was actually created with, like, ancient alchemy. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and uh, the the whole reason that they built like this site of power here is because they wanted to like use the alchemy 
in order to build like more of these and other things like this. They're they're using this this weird stuff. Look, look, look. He starts shifting through things and he starts going, hold on, hold on. He pu holds up his phone or his thing and lays it over top and it, he's got like a Google Translate so that you can read it. Yeah. Uh, all right, so like I'm doing <laughs> it. I, I, I read it then, yeah. All right, uh, you start sifting through it. It talks about ultra space, like the nature of like the uh, how it works. So ultra space is a basically like the space between spaces. You know how like Nightcrawler travels? Mm -hmm. So inside of ultra space is a lot of excess power given off from the other dimensions inside of this multiverse. And there's certain spots of power that legendaries are attracted to that they form at. These spots of power can affect Pokemon and potentially be harnessed by humans using this red stone. And that's what that bracelet was. See, make some Minecraft power. So this is, can go make some really cool Minecraft contraptions here. Yeah, and <laughs> they're, they're shifting through the Bronzong and it shows like schematics for burst crystals, this weird red chain thing and the other Golurks and other Golems and man-made Pokemon. There's even, and... like, the mystical recipe for, um, God, what is that book? Magirna in here. In your universe, have the plots of the other games already happened? Everything like... except for Rainbow Rocket. Okay, so would I be aware of what the red chain was for? Yes, absolutely. Because I'm from Sinnoh, so I would, yeah. Oh, yeah, you would. You totally would, yeah. Yeah, like, that was kind of... That time that reality nearly was erased in my own home country? Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, so that's interesting. <laughs> and the recipe but why for would... muffins. <laughs> and, the re <laughs> and the recipe for muffins. A Red schematic stone. that looks like a flashlight, but a blade coming out of it. <laughs> <laughs> that one's preposterous. <laughs> that, um, one just, that seems too silly. <laughs> that could um, never happen. I forget what your lore for Ranse was, like, how long they've been here. So, essentially speaking, the war in Ransei just ended, and they just crowned the Emperor, the main character from the Ransei games. Mm -hmm. So, essentially, Nobunaga was overthrown, is, is the last thing that happened. But, like, but like, no, like, like how, how common were people, like, from Ransei in this region prior to that? They've been here for a couple hundred years. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, like, that's weird, but no, apparently it's not. It's a bit strange. Okay. Is the Golark, does the Golark appear to be on? Yeah, in fact, this appears to be its control tablet. Oh, I see. Breath of the Wild. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. There's going to be the whole, like, da 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 <laughs> um, Okay. So, this is some kind of, like, conflagration of ley lines, essentially. But I'm... Doesn't this explain exactly what was going on with the Pokemon or why playing chess with Pokemon oh, helps as, cure them. Essentially speaking, whenever there's a disturbance in space-time near an area, like the one caused by a friendly, helpful Hoopa that doesn't know what the he's doing, it will react to an area and cause redstone to flare up. Oh, I see. So things were just... Things were... Uh, it, me arriving just caused a bit of a chain reaction then. It seems that way, yeah. And uh, he says right here... He goes, um, so a bunch of that redstone energy that we were talking about got refocused into that over there. And he points at the bulwark. This could either be a good thing or a bad thing. It's more like a, uh, like a it's more like a battery, he says, reading on. He says, you can actually store it, and he begins to look at uh, your pocket where you stored the bracelet. See. Like you, you gather energy into this. He goes over and like doesn't touch the goal work, but lo kind of looks it up and down. And this is just kind of like a sponge to put it all there, and then you can tell it where to go from there. I see. Would I get a sense of how powerful this thing is? The goal work itself? Eh. <laughs> it's it's good enough to do like most tax tasks that you give it. But all right, but it's um, not like it's, it's not, not like not... Reggie. It's not like Reggie love of golem pokemon <laughs> no absolutely not okay because i'm assuming that's what i don't know how you did the, do those in your in your universe i know a few interpretations of that they're literally also man-made pokemon but like magic i'll put the bracelet on and see if i can like command it to to move over over to me or stand at, stand at attention yes you do exactly that you give it a what do you what are you going to command it to do exactly hmm just wave first oh you're telling it to wave it, yeah it then, it, like, restores to life 
a little bit, like energy is filling it up. It then raises a hand and does like the circular window washing motion at the you. The Baymax wave. <laughs> the Baymax wave, yeah, exactly. Uh, and it, co it continues to do so. Okay, I, I will I will have it stop. Seems simple enough. How did you get here? How did you get to this island? What was your transportation? Oh, me? The Rex? Yeah. Uh, he goes, yeah, I got here by boat. I've got a speedboat on uh, nearby. Would he fit on it? Uh, probably not, he thinks. <laughs> but when we get outside, we can call for backup. Uh, we could probably call Looker. He's in Wild Colony right now. So... Looker! <laughs> Look, I know that we literally just went into the desert. Now I'm in the middle of a... Um, you, you just said yourself it's not the weirdest part of your day. No, this is absolutely not the weirdest part of my day. Um, all right. I'm going to have... A, we're going to just start walking back downstairs with it then. With the Golurk. Yeah, I'm going to have it follow us. All right. You guys begin to go downstairs. You travel out. I'm just going to quickly get you guys there.